Hello everybody, welcome back to the video. In today's video, I'm going to go over some old trades that I've completed in the past few years that have been on Roblox. So yeah, let's get started. This is an idea that I wanted to do for a while. I think it's a pretty fun thing to look back at maybe items you've owned in the past, how much they're doing now, maybe how well of a trader you were back then, and yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how much things have changed because a lot of items went up, a lot of them went down. It's going to be very interesting to see how I did. And I'm going to go look through just the completed trades because the inactive ones are going to have a lot of the same. So I'm going to see what I was actually able to get. So this is the first one I have right off the bat. This is what I gave. I gave this glorious vampire party queen for the scythe face and these are both two of my favorite items. I love the party queen series and the vampire one is my favorite. This was much higher at this time I think because it was being hoarded. There were very little copies of it so it was actually much more expensive and I was actually able to get it one for one for the scythe face and I still own this scythe face today so I think this is a pretty great trade and I think now it's definitely looks pretty good. And now I have this one which also was for scythe face but it's definitely not as good as the first one that we looked at. I have to admit, I'm not the best trader in the world. A lot of my trades that were completed back in the day are complete losses now, especially this one. And even at the time it was a big loss but I kind of just really loved this scythe face item so I was kind of giving anything for it really and I ended up giving all these different rare items for it. And now all of them together is pretty much over double the value of this one. Just the emperor wrap alone is over the value of this scythe face so that's definitely not looking too great for me in terms of this but I think it's still nice. I still have this item and yeah I don't really regret any rid of it but it's definitely not that great looking in terms of wrap. I also wrote and I'm referring to wrap I mean recent average price. And this is another example of me being a trader. I have this Viscountess purple bow tie another purple bow tie and I'm giving it from Nightmare. Nightmare is definitely not worth this much but at the time I just liked the Nightmare so I kind of gave everything for it. That was kind of my style back then. If I liked something I would basically just give whatever I owned for it. It didn't really matter too much for me if it was lost or not I just gave it away and I was the original owner of this Viscountess item and I think this is the original one that I gave away for this so probably wasn't the best idea to give away a Federation item for just something that probably hasn't moved in quite a long time so that's just my mindset back then. And this one's a pretty small one over here. We do have some small items for another small item. You can see it's a pretty big difference. Some items go unexpectedly pretty high as right over here you can see this heart mom sign it did end up going pretty high over time and that definitely makes it look like a pretty big loss but who knows holding on to some small items can definitely make you some money in the future and these eggs definitely weren't this high either so it's interesting to see how things change over time. This is another one that does not look great for me and I gave some random semi-rare items for another semi-rare item. I have this item not this exact serial number but I did actually buy it later on. I did give this much for it. Of course these items went up over time to make it look like a bagel loss but at the time it was pretty equal but yeah this one has definitely not gone up much while these have definitely gone up a pretty significant amount. And here I have another loss so it looks like we're going to look at a lot of losses today but I do have these four items for this Spec Zeta Bygraft Sword, which is pretty interesting. It's exactly 50,000, so that's pretty nice. I did give these four, but I think the biggest change were really these classic Hestec and the Purple Butterfly. Those two definitely went up quite a lot over time, and it definitely looks like I gave over double amount for this item, so definitely doesn't look too good for me in the long term for a lot of these trades, but I did end up getting rid of basically all of them. And this one is a good example of the faces going up over time. Recently, you might have seen it, you might have not seen it, but the faces have been skyrocketing in prices, and this is no different. This sword pack has increased a little bit, not as much as a lot of the other items, but it has increased a little bit, but this case has definitely increased way past what these two were valued at the time. They were both pretty equal, but this has definitely gone up. Right over here, another example of the sword pack not doing too well. The other items I did trade for it were doing pretty well. This tie did actually end up doing pretty good, over 7,000, which is definitely not how much it was worth back then. So it's pretty nice to see these unexpected items actually end up doing well in long term. And here I have this trade, that the silver cyborg face gear did actually not end up doing that great. It stayed around the same for the last few years so it's definitely not the best for trading purposes but this hair has definitely done pretty well over time and this blue Azurath Duke has also done pretty well over time. Then here I have this trade. These are some big items but back then these weren't that big. I think the biggest change is definitely the silver punk face. It definitely wasn't around 200,000 back then. It was mostly around 25,000 which is pretty surprising now since it's gone over 10 times more than it was back then. But it's pretty crazy to see that people do definitely like this item. Demand can really affect an item's price over time and this is what I gave for it right over here. I gave this immortal sword for these two items. So long term, it was definitely a better idea to do that. But short term, they were pretty equal around the same time. Right over here, just a random silly trade. Um, these are two also some of my favorite items right over here. I still have this light student item. I did end up purchasing it later on. And I don't have this right now, but I wish I still had this pink one. But I do have the black variant, which hopefully goes limited soon. But yeah, this was just an equal trade for me at the time. But it's crazy to see how much these have actually increased because these are both around 2000 when this trade was made. Another big 
loss for me. Uh, we have these demand items that I traded for rare items. Another example of me kind of just giving everything I owned for a rare item, but yeah, it, mostly the faces went up over time. Most of the mortal swords just stayed at the same price because it's rare and it's hard for rare items to go up in short periods of time, but these faces definitely have the demand. They sell very often, so they are more likely to increase. And then we have this trade right over here, and this kind of shows how much these two have gone up over time. Sayanami has kind of stayed at the same price, so has Skeptic. That madness face has gone up pretty high. It was around 10,000 when this trade was made, but now it has gone to around 60,000. These green flash shades were not as much as this current price is, so it's definitely pretty interesting to see these two go up. And I actually have a pretty big win here now, one of the first wins from this trade video, but I did give this purple crazy crown and really embarrassed face for some higher demand items. And I do love the crazy crown series, it's also one of my favorite series, um, I wish they made a red one, that would have looked really nice, but I did give it away for these items, and crowns don't really do that well over time, they've stayed relatively the same, and so has this embarrassed face, it's gone up just a bit, but not as much as some of the other faces. And this one is a pretty crazy one. This scissors item has gone up pretty exponentially over the last few years. Back when this trade was made, it was just around 2000. It was kind of forgotten. Not many people knew it existed, but now it has gone up pretty high. As you can see, there are two of them in the trade. They're both 80,000 each, so that's kind of why it looks like a crazy win. But if you just go to the item page, you can see six months ago it was around 30,000, and now it's selling for 80,000. So it's a pretty high increase, and I'm not sure why. Maybe it just looks way nice on people's avatars, but this item has definitely had one of the biggest increases in the last few years. Years. But yeah, I'm gonna stop it here for now. I think it was a pretty fun look back at some of the trades. If you do want to see me continue this and do some more, let me know in the comment section and I'll definitely make another one to this video. But yeah, that's much of this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye!